Mmm, it's getting dark outside. It's like, what, almost 12? It's almost midnight. And man, the midnight sun is going away, losing six minutes every day. Sad, man. That's a sad man. Just think, in winter, around November, December, it's going to look this dark. Around four in the afternoon. Bicycle. Yeah, there's no bicycles in winter. Nope. Yeah, I kind of I, I kind of like dark days like this, dark nights. In winter, it's dark afternoons, especially around December. Good times, but at the same time, it can be a bit depressing. It's melancholy. It's sad yet a little happy at the same time. Anyway, on with the video. Hello my people, Jay from here to give you a brand spanking new video. Well, I'm going to explain about my day. It started out bad, but it ended on a high note. Well, basically I was just started from the beginning, you know. Um, what a day, or what a morning I should say. Basically last night, uh, I was tired, so it, it was around 11 o'clock at night, so I decided to, you know, just... Uh, Maybe just watch a little bit of YouTube videos uh, on my bed. And then, I'll be, then after I'm done, I'll be like, okay, I'll just take a shower, brush my teeth, and then head off to bed to sleep. No. For some reason, in this atmosphere, every time I lay on bed, I just get really tired. My, like, my eyelids get really heavy. So, as soon as I sit down, I watch some Young Turks. Watch, watch a little bit of Bill O'Reilly making a fool of himself. And then all of a sudden... I just get tired and then drop to sleep. So basically I'm just sleeping upright with my glasses and basically I, you know, I had a dream and everything not knowing that I fell, fell asleep. It's like one of those things. And then I woke up and I'm like, oh man, what, what just happened? Then I look at my clock and it says four in the morning. I'm like, what? What the heck? So I'm like just sitting upright on my bed pillows, the fan is going off, um, and um, the light was still on, I still had my glasses, and I just felt terrible. Felt terrible, I had a headache, I'm like, oh man, uh, did I just go back, uh, did, did I just travel in time, like uh, four hours in the future? Oh man, please tell me I didn't sleep, and what the hell, I slept. So, in the four in the morning, I went to take a shower, brush my teeth, and then I slept. Slept for real. For only two hours and yeah after I woke up it was around 6 30 no it was on it was on 7 25 where I, where I just had to get up just so I can get ready to go to work so I brushed my teeth again because you know morning breath I mean, it's it's inevitable so after that I still had a headache uh, still didn't feel too good so this whole morning at work I felt lethargic and slow and uh, that didn't make my my um basically my managers happy because I was slower than usual but hey you know every every time I'm moving slow they just have to uh mock me for it they they don't ask what's wrong they just have to say oh you're being lazy you know just being negative all the time I don't like that place I don't like working at that place anymore I outgrew it that I I'm seriously not happy with that with working at the shop now. That's why I want to quit uh, later this year. I'm just work for myself. And if I don't, and if everything fails, when I work for myself, I just get a new job. A better job. You know, where I, where I can actually uh, meet people. Because at the shop, I'm not really comfortable there anymore. It's just, there's only a few people that I talk to over there. Still. I mean, I see my, my bosses or my supervisors just, you know, looking at me and then shaking their head. You know, it's like, man, if you don't want me here, just just tell me. Or, hey, I'm doing what you want me to do. It's like, uh, I can tell, I can tell. It's like, they, they don't like me. 
so, so stupid, man. I don't, I don't know. So that was basically this whole morning, just all negative. Then I went back here to eat lunch. Then I had to go back there. But I asked for um, uh, an, uh, if I can leave an hour early because I got a wonderful phone call th uh, yesterday saying that um, to promote my first Friday art show, uh, the radio station up in the university wanted me to have a little interview with them. A radio interview. My first radio interview ever. It only took like uh, uh, 10 to 15 minutes. But yeah, I just got back from it. And it was quite an experience. It was cool, you know, these, you know, there's two guys, you know, in, in the studio. It was, uh, it was awesome. It was really small. Uh, basically, we were just chatting about, about my work and my upcoming First Friday show uh, on August 7th, which is next Friday. And, yeah, I just, uh, I just uh, promoted myself to, uh, to people on the air. And he, he told me that he'll uh, send me a link to, uh, to, the, um, to the conversation. So you guys will get to hear it. And so don't worry. Yeah, it was really fun, man. Really fun. The only thing I regret was not talking about my, uh, my, my poster, my Jeff and Terror, uh, character poster that I worked so hard for the last three weeks. And I'm like, I don't know. All I did was talk about, oh, my comics. Chef and Tear Volume 3 and the print of Acid 500. So, it's like, what the hell? Who's Acid 500, man? He's not a Jeff and Tear character. He was a white man, he's a white man extreme character who was a Jeff Adventure character, but then he got demoted to white man extreme. Now, that white man extreme is a bad story. It's just, a, it's a beat em up game. It's a future beat em up game, and Acid 500 is the boss at stage 5 uptown. So, yeah. Anyway, heck, I got my stuff here if you want to look at it. I can take your head off. So, okay, there's my tripod. So basically, these these are these are those things that I'm going to be showing and selling at the at the art show. These wonderful prints. This is Acid 500. I got 15 copies of him, uh, nine by 12 inches glossy paper. I was so impressed by uh, the pe that the people that printed these. They just printed these in like. Uh, in like a couple hours, just today, and I'll just send them the links uh, on the website, and, and yeah, this is all quick. This is I. Uh, she is a weeaboo samurai warrior, and she is um, yeah, she's another character from uh, White Man Extreme. She's one of those uh, bosses, not not bosses. She's an enemy. She's she's too scrawny to be a boss, way too scrawny. And uh, this is this is from last year, but it's one of my very best uh, paintings, uh, Angel Jane. I mean, look at the detail on the on the wings. I mean, it, I know a lot of people will like like angels, and this is a beautiful piece. Another thing on sale: this Jeff and Taylor Quickie Freaky Fairbanks. You know, since I'll be selling these to actual Fairbanks people, they might find this humor funny. You know, so I got I only got ten copies of those. I'm not expecting to sell everything. But it, it's cool. And these aren't for sale. These are just for display. Got my... Uh, just just to let people know how a image, uh, how a cover looks like. I got Flo from Progressive. Yeah, I got her here. And I got my self-portrait right there. Very blue. And I got these to hand out for free. Jeff and Taylor little stickers. A little decal of Jeff and Taylor. And uh, these are actually, you know, character card um, templates. Just for me to draw on. And here is the poster. The poster that I'll be displaying right there. Yeah, it's all fun. It's very fun. It, it was hard work, but it was fun. And in this little suitcase are my Jeff and Taylor volumes. So, yeah, I'm, I'm ready to go. All I have to do is get a haircut. Actually look professional. Uh, yeah, if I change my look, I'll, I'll be more confident. And get some jeans, man. Uh, it's not cool to walk around in sweatpants, you know. I'm not Carl from Aqua Teen Hunger Force, you know. You don't know. So, yeah, that's basically it. That's my little day in the nutshell. So, what am I going to do tonight? I think I'm just going to relax. Since uh, I have a busy day tomorrow, I'll be, well, like I said, getting that haircut. 
if they have a room available. Uh, so, yeah. I, I really should just call in advance, but I don't know their phone number. I mean, I go there every time I get that haircut, so I think I'm going to cut it shorter than usual because I want that short hair. I don't want this. Remember my long hair from tw tw from 2012? I look like a dork. I, I, I look like a hippie, man. That's not right. That ain't right. So, yeah, then I'll... I just put all my flyers up. Um, what else? Oh, yeah. Uh, well, tomorrow's laundry day, so I'll do that. Oh, and I gotta pay my rent. Tomorrow's the first. So, gotta go to the hotel and uh, pay the rent. Yeah, the hotel owns this uh, apartment complex. So... So yeah, a uh, busy day tomorrow, and uh, hopefully I'll chat with friends uh, over the weekend and get pumped and ready to go. Oh, right now, you know, I, I just want to eat. I'm hungry, man. I'm hungry, man. I just want to eat and uh, and uh, and actually work on um, putting these uh, prints in these uh, clear bags that I just got. These little folders. I'll put them in. Uh, I'll put them in each each little print in one bag so I don't have to do the work while I'm actually there at the show and yeah next week I will I will be recording I'll bring this camcorder along and record the, the, the area so for you fans that are not from Fairbanks from uh, if you're from Detroit or uh, Las Vegas New York or uh, another part of the world like Norway Finland Egypt and uh, Canada, England, of course, got some fans from England. So, yeah, and you guys go, will get to see it. Uh, of course, you, you won't see the whole thing, but you'll see the setup and stuff. So, I, I don't think I'm allowed to uh, record actual people. It's like people will be like, oh no, get that away from me. It's like, what are you, a criminal? Why don't you like to be recorded? Nah, I'm just kidding. Um, me, I'm pretty photogenic. Even though I'm pretty shy, I'm photogenic. Like, I like to and that picture taken. Except where I'm at work. Where I'm at work, I'm super serious and angry and and uh, bitter. You know, when I talk to people, well, some you know, there are some guys uh, around my age that I like to chat with, but with all the rest, it's all business. All strictly business. I don't want to have any fun conversations. And I know it sounds it might, I sound like a jerk, but still I'm not happy with that place, so I might as well just quit later in the year. But I still care about the business. It's like that's why I want uh, good replacements for me. I need two paint preppers to do uh, my work. And yeah, it's like I'm the only paint pepper there. I'm the only head bu main buffer there. So uh, basically, I'm I'm being underpaid. I'm not being paid enough to uh, to be the only guy uh, prepping cars and all that. I don't know. I'm the, I'm the only assistant, I should say. So, there you have it. That's it for this video. I'm excited for my show, and hopefully it'll... I'll, uh, I, I, I'm not expecting to sell everything, but I am hoping to get more uh, noticed. Like, more opportunities. Like, uh, another owner is like, Hey, I own this store. I would love to have you for, my, for a First Friday show at my place. And I'm like, awesome. Or... Could I commission you to draw my dog? Awesome. I'll do that. I shall do that. So, there you have it. JFM out. And I'll see you guys another video. Real soon.